It's been cold here in North Carolina. We had an ice storm this past weekend, uh, so we're gonna warm ourselves by the fire. And I'm gonna show you how I control this board via MIDI. Using the MIDI controllers on this board, uh, Morningstar MC8 and underneath a Morningstar ML5 for the overdrives. We're gonna program a song. So we're gonna do Cornerstone by Hillsong. We're gonna set it up. Pre-chorus, or sorry, intro and verse, swells, chorus, chorus big, just like a helix in snapshot mode, but for the pedal board. So what is being controlled on this board via MIDI? All of the overdrives, uh, the, the DD500, the H9, the two uh, smaller Eventide pedals, the Black Hole and the Micro Pitch, all controlled via MIDI. We're gonna program all that. This is an MJT, Thin Line Telecaster, Porter Vintage Tele Pickups. Running this board out in stereo into a third power, two third power, power amps, the Dual Citizen using the Vox AC30 voice channel and the Dreamweaver using the Plexi voice channel, the Dual Citizen running into a UA Aux, Dreamweaver into a Two Notes Torpedo Captor X, both of those being recorded direct into Logic. I like to refer to this as my budget rig. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you how I program one or two sounds with the MC8, uh, and then off camera, I'm gonna program the rest of it because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. Then we'll go through the different sounds to show you kind of how this all works. And at the end, we might do some conclusion about like, why would you spend 350 odd dollars or way more for a controller like this, you know, to control this stuff? Like, what is the benefit for you? And I think there are quite a few. Uh, and then we're also gonna film a playthrough video for Cornerstone using this whole rig so you can see it in action. That will be a separate video. Let's jump in. Sound number one is the intro uh, and verse sound. It's like an ambient clean thing. You hear it on the album, it sounds like. Everyone knows this song, Cornerstone, Hillsong. All right. Uh, I have done a few things. We're gonna jump into the Morningstar editor. It's connected to my computer via USB. I've done a few things in prep. So the first thing is I have edited this bank uh, and named it Cornerstone. I have set an action for the controller. So the Morningstar is connected to all these pedals via MIDI. So we can send MIDI clock. So Cornerstone is 71.5 BPM. So when we enter this bank with the controller, it's going to send tempo information 71.5 BPM. Basically that's telling the DD500 what tempo to set all its delays at. We've saved it, done. So the first thing is each button on the controller is a preset or a sound. I like to use a full bank for a song and then each preset to be individual parts of the song. So I'm going to uh, assume a few things. This video is not designed to show you how MIDI works, teach you how to set the MIDI up on all these individual pedals. Morningstar has great documentation and a great YouTube channel to show you how to use their controllers. Uh, all of these different pedals, every pedal is different. Quickly, each MIDI enabled pedal is on its own channel. And I'm using those different channels and the settings, MIDI settings for individual pedals to one, turn pedals on and off, including the overdrives via the ML5, and two, select different presets from within that pedal. So I'm gonna quickly pull up a pre-made preset that I have. Basically it's an ambient clean sound uh, and it's just gonna fill this in. So let's just quickly go through what all of this stuff does. So the first two commands are on a button press. So this is preset number A. I'm gonna call this intro verse. It's conveniently already labeled. It's almost like I did a little bit of this beforehand, all right? Intro verse, intro verse, intro verse. Let's save it. Uh, the first two commands are for the DD500. The first one is a, pro a program change. It's basically saying select the first preset, which is my dotted eighth note tape, then a uh, CC value to turn it on. Uh, the same thing is happening for the three overdrives. I'm telling them to turn off. So at this point, I can once I hit this, I can turn these on. And they're not in the chain because their loops are turned off on the ML5. Next is the H9. I'm telling it to turn off. 
Next is the micro pitch. Again, it's being told to turn off. Next is the black hole. So the black hole, I'm telling it to turn on and I'm selecting the first preset, which is the ambient reverb preset. That's kind of my basic ambient reverb sound. So this whole thing is programmed pretty much how I would like it to be. Got dotted eighth delay, H9 uh, and micro pitch are off. All the overdrives are off and the black hole is on at its ambient preset mode. Uh, it sounds, well, first of all, let's bank out of here and then bank back in because that is going to uh, send that tempo information, right? So here's the previous bank, okay? And then we'll bank back in. So we've banked back into Cornerstone. Uh, DD500 is set at 71. I don't know why it didn't go 71.5. If you look over here, we're telling it to go 71.5. I don't know, maybe that's a bug with, with uh, Morningstar. Uh, 71 is going to be just fine for the purposes of this demo. Here is what that whole preset sounds like. <laughs> You want to buy a black hole now, don't you? You're welcome, even tied. I just sold another one. Okay, that is a beautiful sound in reverb. All right, so um, I'm just gonna do one more setting because the next sound that I'm gonna want in this song is like what you would play during the first chorus. It'd be like a big swell sound, right? Uh, or nothing, depending on what you got going on in your band. So we're just gonna go to preset B, which is now empty. I'm gonna again load this sound from a file because I've pre-saved this preset. If you have a controller that lets you save whole presets like this for all your pedals, do it. It will make your programming life easy. Quickly, let's run through this. The first thing is the black hole is now set to its second preset, which is the ambient plus sound. The, uh, the H9 is set to shimmer and to turn on. The micro pitch is set at a very cool ambient setting. The DD500 is set at the ambient Terra. By the way, all these DD500 presets available below. I have a DD500 pack, you can get all these. And then all the drives are turned off. So I save it. Now this uh, preset B says swells. So again, I'm gonna go from the intro into swells. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna program the rest of this stuff off camera. We'll come back, talk about how these different sounds change, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this MIDI controller setup in general. I've finished programming this whole song in. Let's go through the different presets and show you these sounds. We heard verse and swells quickly again. That's basically ambient clean tone and uh, swells. <laughs> Next we have like a verse tag. That's where it kind of picks up before it goes into the first chorus. That turns on the king of tone. Sounds like this. Then we hit our chorus big sound, which is the duelist coming on. So it's like our basically our main big rhythm sound. Next is uh, my favorite sound of the whole bit. Well, two of my favorite sounds. I call this one huge with a Y. Uh, it turns on the fuzz and the pog uh, and all the delay and all the reverb. Nick and I both agreed, it's glorious. So it's basically like the, the big lead sound of the song. I'm gonna come out of the chorus and play it. Uh, and I think you'll agree with me that it's appropriately named, right? So here's the chorus. keeps going. In the instrumental, I put on some shimmer. I just, you know, we're trying to have some fun with this.
What I love about the Eventide shimmer is almost every other shimmer I've ever heard. It's way shrill and harsh if you're not careful. Eventide's shimmer algorithms are just so warm and lush. And then there's a big instrumental build, which is just like a big uh, rhythm tone that you can use to play that kind of same part as the song builds. So let's talk about the practicality of a MIDI controller like this. Uh, again, I'm using the Morningstar stuff, but this is applicable for any of like the main MIDI controller options that you find out there, whether it's RJM. Bradford is a huge fan of the RJM controllers and they are awesome. Uh, but really any MIDI controller will do these things. Uh, it's, it's not you know, proprietary to these uh, devices, MIDI is sort of universal language. So you can use any controller to do this. And really the size of the controller is what will allow you to have however many buttons or sounds at your disposal. So why is something like this important? Well, what I wanted to do with this song, uh, with this preset is to, or this bank, is to show you just the vast number of different sounds that we're pulling out of individual pedals. So if you might have recalled as we went through this stuff, I'm using two different sounds on the black hole. I'm using three different delay uh, presets on the DD500. I'm using two different presets from the H9 and I'm turning on different combinations of overdrives and I'm doing these with single button presses. So if you're a lead guitar player and you want really intricate sounds, which is what I tried to demonstrate with this sort of setup, um, it would be hard. It would be, for me personally, I would find it very difficult to, okay, I wanna turn, I wanna make sure the Duelist is on, the other two drives are off, the DD500 is in the third preset, the H9 is in the second preset, and the Black Hole is in the first preset. Like how many different button press, it's like an amazing amount of tap dancing that you'd have to do to pull that off. Or I can use this controller and I can make all of that happen with a single button press. So we are going to film uh, just a full playthrough of this song using this board and this bank that I just built into these amps uh, because we agree here, it sounds amazing. So we're gonna go with it. Links below if you wanna learn more about this board. I did a full feature video on this pedal board, all the different pedals, more on the controllers there as well. And uh, you can see different sounds that you can get. Uh, if you want these DD500 presets, link for that below as well. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, I, you know, I don't know what else I could say at this point that hasn't already been said uh, in your worst tutorials. Your life would be better off if you did. I mean, you're really missing, I feel, I personally, my heart goes out to you if you're not. So I'd like to you to take a moment, stop what you're doing, whether you're on a, a handheld device or a computer, whatever, find that red subscribe button. Click it, click the bell as well, so you can be notified. And, and you're just gonna be better off for it. And you know, we have fireplaces now. So uh, it's really, it's, I just can't imagine why you wouldn't. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.